Yo, do you mind if I ask you, and, and don't answer if you don't, how did you meet your wife? Um, that's delicious, bro. Oh, thanks, man. Um, Tender. I, I was, um, you know, I was 35 and I was at a place where I broke off an engagement and I was like, I'm never going to get married. Thank you. And, you know, I, I, I was single for a good stretch. I just swore I'm never going to be in another relationship. That type yeah. of mo moment. And I, one of my friends was like, hey, um, we're going to this club in the meatpacking district. Do you want to go? And I was like, you know what my answer is. Why would I, why would I do that? Mm -hmm. There's nothing I hate more than a nightclub unless there's like MDMA involved or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. That's why it's like the most powerful I love this. In the world. Yeah, the best. Like, you guys are the, <laughs> the best. <laughs> yeah. We people understand. It's like, I, it can take an environment that I hate with a white hot heat and then just yeah. take it to, I can tolerate it. <laughs> it just makes me positive. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking yeah. positive, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm forget about my dad beating the shit out of me. <laughs> anyway, we, we stopped by. My friend introduced, because uh, he, he knew a bunch of girls that were there. And I was there for maybe five minutes. Because I walked in. I was like, dead sober. I was like, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. I said hello to everybody. That was it. I, I saw Grace with her friends. Yeah. Little did I know that she also hates clubs. And then she left like five minutes after I left. And then uh, fast forward the next day, my friend calls me. Hey, those girls you met, they're host hosting a barbecue at their apartment. I went and they were going down in flames because more people had showed up than expected. And they're trying to grill all these hot dogs and hamburgers. And I looked at this, I, I felt like a superhero. <laughs> you, you saved know? the barbecue. Yeah, yeah, I was like, holy shit. It's one of those moments where like, oh, someone's choking and I'm a fucking doctor. It's like, the toilet's overflowing That's and I'm best. a fucking world-class plumber, whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, I can do this so shit. I'm trained for this. He's like in the weeds and you're like, you need help, mom? <laughs> and that's literally what happened. And, and uh, Helped cook a bunch of stuff for them, helped out. And then um, after dinner, you know, they, they, you know, party wound down, helped them clean up. And I was hanging out with her, Grace and her friends. And they were like starving because they never ate because they were just feeding everybody. Yeah. I mean, we were in Alphabet City, yeah. like the 12th, 12th and A or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I was also like, huh, they're hungry. I have uh, a restaurant. <laughs> right here. We go right here. You took him to Noodle Bar? No, no, we went to Sambar. Oh, okay. And that's how it all happened. That's amazing. Um, and that's really sweet. Besides my attraction to her, which again, I was like, I never wanted to date anybody ever again. That was my mindset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was sort of just sort of uh, taken off guard at her kindness, right? Aww. She And that was the thing that I was like, Wait, she's actually like just a, Aww. like she's not a, she's not a, Korean people get mad at me. She ain't a crazy Korean. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she's almost like she's the polar opposite of that. Yeah. And she doesn't, she has like almost no Han, no nothing. I was mm -hmm. like, oh. And it was, it was just, that's how it progressed. And that's how I met her as a nightclub of all places. That's really That's amazing, man. Yeah.